Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm really, really sorry I haven't posted a video in about a week now. As most of you have seen on my Insta Instagram, I was in surgery last Wednesday and I am still recovering from surgery. I'm off work this week um, just so I can focus on my recovery mentally and physically. Focus just on me, myself and I. Um, you know, practicing some meditation, mindfulness, um, adult um, colour therapy, you know, um, just so I can just switch off from everything uh, that's been going on in my life, you know, prior to the surgery and I just want to be well enough to go back to work next week, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to be focusing solely on uh, recovery this week. Um, today, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the surgery that I did have. Um, so it was to determine whether I had endometriosis. Um, and, and for those of you who don't know, endometriosis is um, when bits of the tissue um, that lines the uterus grows on other pelvic organs like ovaries and the fallopian tube. Um, so the symptoms that I had uh, were very similar to those that um, who suffer from endometriosis like excessive bloating, um, nausea, excruciating uh, pain every month um, for the for at least the first three days of my menstrual cycle, um, you know, um, and I'd have to miss work sometimes uh, just so I could stay at home and deal with the pain a lot better. Um, I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand, I couldn't walk. I there were times where I could not even sleep, even though. I had taken really strong painkillers. The pain was just so, so bad that I couldn't do anything. Um, my whole life um, was put on hold every month when I would um, be going through that uh, period, you know, of three to five days when I'd um, be in excruciating pain. So... Um, as far as I'm aware, I've been suffering with these uh, menstrual cramps for a long time now and over time they've just gotten worse and worse and I thought it was normal to li live with these kind of cramps, you know, for every woman to be able to live with this, um, but it's not normal and I just want to raise awareness about how um, you can overcome this pain and if you feel that you may have endometriosis, um, you've got similar symptoms as I did, definitely go to your GP, talk to them, get them to refer you to a specialist to get um, a scan done. They will then be able to refer you uh, further to a gynecologist who will be able to advise you what they can do um, and yeah don't ignore this as it's um, it can be a very 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 painful um, thing to deal with and dealing with this kind of pain on a month by month um, it, it's it's just not it's not fair uh, for women to have to go through this kind of pain every month so definitely uh, visit your doctor, talk to them about the pains that you're getting um, and see if they can help you. So I started this process earlier this summer uh, when I went to my GP. I told her about all the uh, symptoms I've been getting and the pains that I uh, suffer with every month. She referred me to get a scan done and 
after the scan, I was referred to a gynecologist who um, studied the scans um, that I had done and found that I had fibroids in my uterine uh, wall. Um, however, I was so convinced that I had endometriosis because I had the exact same symptoms that um, endometriosis sufferers would have. Um, as mentioned earlier, you know, severe bloating, painful cramps every month, nausea. Um, so my doctor, sorry, my gynecologist um, said the only way that they can find out whether I've got endometriosis was to do a laparoscopic surgery and see if there was any tissue um, that lines the uterus um, that are growing on other organs in my body. Um, and, you know, that was the only way of finding out whether I had endometriosis. So I agreed to the surgery and um, following um, that gynecologist appointment, I had my pre-op uh, assessment come through where I had to go and get my bloods done. I had to go and get uh, my blood pressure checked and just, you know, the normal pre-op um, assessment that they do. Um, so that went all uh, well and I got my uh, surgery date a day later after I had that uh, pre-op assessment, which was really, really good. Um, I cannot thank the NHS enough for um, processing this whole um, processing this whole uh, <laughs> thing so quickly you know I didn't think that my surgery date would come so soon I thought I'd have to wait until next year and suffer in this with this pain until then um, even though they they didn't find any endometriosis and they couldn't remove the fibroids because they were too small um, which could have led to complications like uh, infections I'm still grateful to the NHS for giving me the chance to be able to rule out that I don't have endometriosis and rule out that the fibroids are not the cause of the cramps. I can now, um, you know, look into other forms of pain relief management like holistic um, and herbal medicines that could help me rather than having to take painkillers for the rest of my life um, to deal with this pain. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend all the women out there to go and get themselves checked with their doctor um, and don't ignore this um, because no woman should have to go through this kind of pain every month, um, you know, in silence. Um, it, it's, it's unfair basically it's you know it's it's not something we should have to deal with um so yeah i just wanted to raise the awareness uh, about endometriosis and you know make sure that all the women get themselves checked um and don't sit and suffer in silence so thank you all so much for listening and watching this video. Um, if you've got any questions or if you'd like any advice, please, please feel free to get in touch. Comment below and it would be lovely to hear from you. I would be more than happy to give you any advice or um, help you, you know, um, until then, thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Share this video with as many women as you can possible. And stay tuned for my next video where I'll be focusing on my recovery. Bye.